Welcome to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. I'm so glad you could be here. Be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single story. Today we'll be reading Elmer by David McKee. Elmer by David McKee. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell on the ground. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries, this way and that. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old blue sky. Same old rain cloud. Same old elephants. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and, at the top of his voice, shouted, Boo! The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. <laughs> then the others began to laugh. <laughs> Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. <laughs> and then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer! <laughs> Gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke. All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third. And Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. 
and one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow, or orange, or red, or pink, or purple, or blue, or green, or black, or white, and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade, who is ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. Thank you so much for joining me for Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Until next time, discover the wonder in a book. Pick one up. Take a look. For more classic stories, like and subscribe to Read Aloud with Mr. Paul. Thanks again.